everybody, welcome back to Pixie Woo. So last night I had a little meltdown that um, I hadn't dieted and the summer's here and I feel crap. So um, I decided I know what I'll do, I'll put some fake tan on. So I put some fake tan on my face, this Saint Tropez one, which I totally love. Um, and I also put my, I have these um, teeth from when I had Invisalign, teeth. I've got a brace which I wore, which I haven't been wearing for ages. I haven't worn it at all, my teeth were starting to move. So I've been wearing this the last few days and my teeth whitener that is in there must have leaked on it and my teeth had gone a lot whiter. So I was like, Do you know what? If you haven't had time to diet and feel good about yourself, then I'm just going to put tan on and make myself feel good through makeup and sod the rest of it. I don't care how I look in my shorts, I just won't wear them, I'll wear baggy clothes, but I'll have an amazing face. That's what I've decided. That is the um, conclusion I've come up with. So today I was like, do you know what? I'm going to go in and film a summer makeup tutorial for me, not for anyone else. The makeup that I want to wear and the makeup that I feel nice in. Um, I haven't tried it yet. I've just pulled some products from my makeup bag and some other bits that have come in. And I'm just going to do a makeup that I want to do. Not for any of you, for me. Um, so let me tie my hair out of the way first. Oh, by the way, I use this brush to do my fake tan. And it works genius, because I didn't get it on my hands that way, so I just put it all over, did a little bit on my chest as well. And it was great. So, tie my hair up and then I'm gonna get started. Just whack some um, Ember Elise on first. I do look a little bit orange, but hey ho, I feel better. Oh, I also painted my nails and my toes to match. I had to wait for, I'd ordered something this morning, um, the other day, and it came and I looked awful in it. So I was, had to wait for parcel force or someone to come and collect it this morning. So I had to be in until one before I could film a video. So I spent the morning just pampering myself, which is a very rare thing for me to do. No one was there. I was like, this is heaven. Watch morning TV. Right, I am gonna start with a little bit of Studio Tech Foundation. I love this foundation and I'm going to buff that into my skin. I'm going to use a um, sculpting brush and I'll just take a small amount, just dab it on and then circular motions really work it into my skin. I've gone for an NW tone rather than an NC and the reason I've gone for an NW is because when you put fake tan on sometimes it looks a bit orange um, and if I put something that's a yellow undertone on it, it's going to make me look more orange. So I'm putting something that's slightly pinker undertone to kind of counteract out that warmth. Really buff it into the skin. You can use a bit of thick spray or something like that to work this in if you find that it, it kind of sticks on your skin and doesn't blend in as well as you'd like it to. It seems to work pretty well on mine because I've just moisturised. And I'm only putting a minimal amount of this on because I don't want to look like I've got loads of makeup on. In the summer, there's nothing worse than looking like you've got a thick layer on that you're trying to cover something. Hopefully the sound is better on this. You might hear background sound, but I've boycotted the microphone that I was using because everyone was like, some people couldn't hear it. So I'm just using the sound from the camera now. Okay, foundation done. Right, I have got this Blink Brow Pencil. This one is in Cardamom Pod, and I'm just gonna brush my brows through first. Oh, I also dyed my brows this morning. You know, that is having a lot of time on your hands. To be able to do all those things that are so decadent, which I never have time to do. So, just gonna make my brows a tiny bit thicker. I dyed my brows so that they would catch any little fine hairs. The dye would catch any little fine hairs and make my brows look longer or fuller. And hopefully that way I won't have to wear so much pencil or powder on my brows. I go through different stages of using different things on my brows and at the moment I'm loving this Blink products, love them. I'm then going to run a little bit of Ico Brow Gel over the top of that. So that you can see that there are real hairs there. And 
Then these Kevin Aquan eye pigments just came in. Um, there's a few colours and I've picked out three that I like. These three here. Can't really see them very well, but I'll hold them up again. And I thought they were really, really nice. Um, they're meant to soak up like oiliness from the eyes so that it doesn't ruin the makeup. Whether they do is another thing. I'm assuming for the price they probably do. I'm going to start off with this one, which is called Horizon. And I'm going to take that on a base shadow brush and just work that right the way over my eyelid. A bit like a souffle. Could take that under the eye as well. And then I'm going to take this one which is called Titan and I'm going to run that over the top. It's kind of that warm copper colour which I always like because it brings out the green in my eyes. Also be lovely. Actually it's quite a good colour for any eye colour, if it makes sense. Run that underneath a little bit as well. Right, do I want liner? I'm going to put some mascara on and then decide if I want liner or not. I'm going to take my Dior um, Show Mascara. Actually, I'm going to curl my lashes first. NARS Lash Curlers. Tilt them so it gets maximum curl. So get it in the grip and then tilt it up. So we can get maximum curl from that. Then my dual show. I'm going to get my MAC extended play for the bottom lashes. Because it doesn't move. And sometimes I put a coat of that just on my top lashes so that whatever mascara I'm using it kind of makes that water resistant as well. Then I'm going to move back to the skin. I'm going to take a little bit of select cover up. Uh, this one's NW25. They come out um, lighter than they actually are. I'm going to take a deluxe crease brush. I'm going to work that under my eyes. that orbital bone there. Reason I like this concealer is because it goes on cream but it sets really really matte so it doesn't move. Take that around my nose. Right I'm then going to draw on some freckles. I have got um, two of these um, blink pens. These are brow pens. One is in cinnamon spice and the other one is in Indian chocolate. I'm just going to push them, darker one first, randomly over my face. Don't worry if they go on a bit big because you're going to tap them away anyway. Don't try and do this too uniformed, it's got to be sporadical. Is that right? Sporadic. I just forgot to press record and carried on filming without pressing record. I'm then going to take a little bit of Becca um, blusher. I've already used this, so I'm not going to do it again. And this is the um, highlight and low light. And I took a little bit of that around the hairline, over the cheeks, over the nose, over where I put the freckles so it softens them even more. And then a tiny bit of um, Kevin Aquan. This is Tropical Nights Cool Bronze with a contour brush just over anywhere that I want even more sun bronze look. So anywhere the sun would hit the face first. Now I like a lot of things on my cheeks, so I'm not even finished there. I'm then gonna take my Tom Ford um, cream cheek color in pink sand. I love this, I wear it every single day. 
I'm going to run that just on the top of my cheeks. It's kind of a really corally tone. I love. Love it, love it, love it. Then for the lip, I'm going to go super duper boring on the lip because that's what I like. And I have got, this is um, L'Oreal Lip Liner in Beige Anu 630. I'm going to colour my whole lip in with that. I'm then going to take a tiny weeny bit of shimmery brow pencil around the outside of the lip. Then I'm going to take a little tiny bit of coffee eye pencil and run it in that top waterline. Rather than do it on the outside, I'm doing it on the inside so it makes the lashes look thicker without having a line on the outside. And then lastly, a little touch of Clarins. Um, this is um, a clay minute in, or instant light in number three. I feel better already. Let me take my hair out. And there, you can powder if you want. I don't need to, it's not necessary. I quite like the shine. And there you have my finish. Feel, make me feel better summer makeup tutorial. Hope um, you guys are all ready for summer and not going through the same dilemma as me. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.